Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Ryan and welcome to the Apex Performance Podcast. This is episode one. Uh, it is the 4th of August, 2020, and what a fucking beautiful day it is. What a fucking beautiful day it is. Um, I don't know where you are at the moment, but I'm looking outside and it is bloody beautiful. I always like this part of winter. It's towards the end. And the thing I like about it is you do get the more frosts in the morning, which is a bit of a pain in the butt because I don't like being cold. Um, I'm more of a summer, autumn kind of viber. Um, they're my two favorable seasons of the year. But um, I do like this part of the year because it's very beautiful. The um, <clears throat> A lot of creatures are out. They're trying to scavenge for food. There's um, beautiful blue skies. Um, not a lot of wind at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and, yeah, the days are brilliant. So I'm going for a hike tomorrow. I've locked it in. I'm going for a hike tomorrow. A bit of a off the beaten path uh, hike. We'll chuck up some photos on the Facebook page. If you haven't already, because you probably, you know, this podcast is the first episode. If if you haven't already, go and like our Facebook page. I believe the URL link is Apex Performance. Oh, sorry. Facebook.com forward slash Apex Performance NZ, but I'll just check a link in the description. You know, my my uh, morning brain isn't really the best. I'm kind of like an like a coal like an old coal train. You know, um, I'm more of a night owl. Always have been. It's quite funny. Everybody says can how much of a night person I am. Uh, but when I do wake up in the morning, I just take a little while to wake up. You know, I'm just one of these people. I just need a little bit of it's a little bit of time. You got to stoke the old coal engine. You know, you got to get the train moving. But you know, once once that train's up and going, you know, you're not going to be doing much to stop it. I'm like climate change. Um. Yeah. So beautiful, uh, beautiful day. Time to go for a, a hike. I tried to do it over the weekend. I'm not going to lie, but the weather I was just a little bit uneasy about. Didn't know if it was changing or not. <clears throat> Um, so you're yeah, locking in a, a gotta be perfect day tomorrow to go for a hike. Uh, we're going up to the radio tower. It's, it's off the beaten path there. It's really cool. Uh, it's, there is some, I don't know, probably people have probably been up there since lockdown, but like, you know, people come through and they also put their, um, like the, uh, the track tagging on the um on the trees and stuff so you know where you're going because like yeah there's there's no cut out path this isn't like a gorge walk or you know one of the dock tracks that get all the money <clears throat> they simply just can't maintain all those all those tracks all the time but some real good tracks out there we're going to smash this one out um yeah and that'll be wednesday it'll be good it'll be a good one it'll be good to uh, you know, get to the top of the radio tower, be a Wednesday, get back. Fuck, I might even have a bath, even. I don't like baths, but I might even have a bath. Just soak up. <clears throat> you know, it feels good. Training's been really good at the moment. Uh, for the last month, I've been at physio. Um, I haven't been getting any, like, proper physio work. I've just gone in twice. A couple of times this month for about half hour, 45 minutes in each, and just going over a couple of exercises. Um, after lockdown, just my mobility, you know, my range of motion, motion um, I could feel it, you know, my shoulder's range of motion had been limited, but I could feel it in my tricep, I think it's like the medial head, I think it is, uh, yeah, so the, it's, it's a bit of a pain, but the, the, the physiotherapist seems to think that I can put, uh, load on it more and just kind of test it a little bit, because again, it's like, <clears throat> It's not like bad pain. It's just <clears throat> it just feels like it's real. It's just limiting my movement. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on a second. <coughs> Goodness gracious me. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. So training's been really good. Uh, went and checked out Messi Gym. Uh, this 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 last week was pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good place there. Got a bit of work I got to do up there, so 
uh, did a training session up there yesterday. Did uh, it was predominantly a chest workout, but with my workouts at the moment, I'm kind of just maintaining or just trying to um, just main yeah, just kind of stay in a maintenance kind of phase with my uh, exercise training, particularly like, like lifting weights and that. Uh, just because there's a little bit more focus and my little bit more competitive aspect of my of my training is more so at running i want to kind of improve on that there has been talk about doing a half marathon um i thought it'd be a pretty pretty decent challenge like at first i was like well if i'm already you know running 10 to 12k on sunday you know i just have to double that you know <laughs> this is what i was thinking at the time this is like no joke i'll just double it yeah but i don't want to seem like it was too easy uh, but then after some actual thought about it, and then it's like a year, but then you you got to think after each 10k, you're pretty much adding on another 10k, so I might check out the half just to see how it feels. I'm actually really enjoying this running. Uh, we'll talk a little bit, a bit more about that later on, but yeah, it's um, this running's quite good, just, yeah, just in the maintenance. And a lot of the things to do with the reason why I'm in maintenance at the moment is not um because i don't want to kind of like say focus heavy on the running and on the exercise at the moment i'm trying to <clears throat> spend a little bit more time learning about exercise um and learning uh, learning new exercises learning new ways to train um and just kind of re and you know going back to the drawing board and understanding these exercises <clears throat> why we do them how they're meant to feel where you're where supposed to put your feet, where you're supposed to put your hands, where you're supposed to feel the squeeze, are you feeling the squeeze? Um, yeah, it's it's actually been quite fun, just going back, just being a bit of a maintenance and just kind of exploring exercises and see what really feels good and, you know, what, what you've kind of, you've grown out of and maybe if there's an exercise that you've been a little bit slack. I did sign up to a new gym, probably about, um, a month ago and I honestly believe hear me hear me on this one I honestly believe sorry if you can hear the squeaky chair I have to get some CRC or some shit um, soon but sign up to a new gym if you feel like your gains are getting stale and if you're a fairly active person at the gym sign up to a new gym sign up to a new gym I guarantee you're going to start feeling your exercise a little bit different you get into the new gym, and if you, you're a person that uses the equipment, you'll start to think, oh, this equipment feels a little bit weird. And even like the racks, you get into the rack, and then you're like, oh, you know, this feels a little bit different from what I'm used to. So then, yeah, well, from this is what I experience anyway. Um, I don't know about you, but check out, if you ever felt like in the past when you've like moved, or maybe you have already, you know, changed them, let us know. Honestly, I reckon when you go to a new gym, if you've been at a gym for, say, a year, <clears throat> It's time to move on. Honestly, it's like it's time to move on. Unless, of course, you're still making your gains, you're still making progress. Maybe it, it just means getting into that new environment. Uh, honestly, like being at this other gym, maybe because the gear is a little bit older as well. Um, I do like the older gear, whether it's the dumbbells or the weights or the machines and that. Particularly the older machines are are nice because they just feel a little bit more um on one hand they're kind of being worked in a little bit uh but two it just yeah it just doesn't feel as smooth but i feel like my contractions in the exercise so like for example there's um a um a hamstring curl machine at my old gym and you would use you could obviously use um both legs at once or um one leg at a time uh on this machine but it it did have one bar right across so you you could pretty much put both legs on to the same piece and um on this one there's two different pieces and I really like it it just the positioning and where I feel like I'm doing the hamstring curl just it's just a little bit different it just feels a little bit different and it's you know put my placement off and being a person that feels uh, that will has this idea that when you do exercise it needs to be on a feels good basis so practically meaning 
if you know which part of the muscle, you understand what part of the muscle you're working on and how it's meant to feel and where you're supposed to be, when it feels good, you know you're doing the exercise right. When you feel that contraction, you're doing the exercise right. And I think a lot of the times we just, we a lot of times we think about moving the bar or the handle or the cable from point A to point B and we don't actually think about what it is we're doing and what movement are which we are trying to create create rather than looking and this is particularly guys women women are great at doing exercises you know like particularly like you look at women when they work on cables women when they work on cables that or any other exercise they are very like it seems like they're very methodical about the exercise movement they're doing i'm moving my arm from here to here and um you, and you see it with a lot of women when they do the exercise, they're very methodical and I don't know if they're focusing on what they're doing or, or whatnot, but to me that just it, it, it just appears they're putting a lot of thought into what it is they're doing. And the feels good basis is kind of like that. It's thinking about, you know, when you're doing that chest press, you know, you're like for me, when I'm doing like say an incline um, dumbbell press, right? I'm starting at the top and I can I can feel my you know my chest already you know kind of tight ready to go and and, the, and and ready to um bring that load down and i'm not rushing to bring that load down you know I'm, i want to feel that my chest is like r ripping apart like opening right up so you're bringing that right down to you know to the position that you know you feel works best for you i understand some people like their hands and their elbows and, their, and whatnot placed in certain ways I, you know I'm, we're not really here to debate really debate form at the moment but you but bring it right down you feel that chest open right up you feel like the center of your chest you know right there you know where i'm whacking right now that you feel it just opening right up and you and then you're like pushing it back up you're closing that chest all those muscles back up you're feeling that you know you're driving up through you're extending your arms you feel it in your triceps you get to the top you feel like your your you know your man boobies are just you know they want to meet each other they want to like rise up and meet each other in the middle. Um, so yeah, it's not like on a feels good basis. Um, and that's like the same again with your squats or even like your rows. What it is you're looking for. What muscles are you meant to be targeting? Am I doing the exercise right? And um, Big on the feels good basis. Doing exercise correctly. I, I honestly lost my train of thought there. I was too busy just getting emotionally involved in um, the visceral feelings and of, of enjoyment I get when I do my uh, incline bench press. I was just getting a bit too involved there. <laughs> it's honestly, honestly, I believe it's just the best way to think about exercise is this, that it needs to feel good and you know what you're meant to be working out. You know the muscle. You know, maybe at first year, you know, it's been a while, it's, you know, you know, I remember when I first started at the gym, I didn't know what the hell I was working out. You know, I didn't know what the what the hell I was working out. And then it's only just through going to it, and then you just feel those muscles moving and shit. Damn, and I'm even I'm not even that big, man. I'm not even big. Fuck. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, so. What were we talking about? Man, you can go on tangents on these podcasty things. No wonder you hear them go, you know, these people that's like, oh, fuck, what was I talking about? And you uh, you got someone that's listening that's like, oh, yeah, no, you were talking about blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I've forgotten. This is what happens when I'm talking, I'm talking to you guys by my laugh. I'm talking to you guys so you can listen to me in the future. Um. So what we've got going on? Yeah, I've got a, like a, so I've kind of gone along and started the Facebook page and shit. <clears throat> And on there we've got an event because over lockdown I decided that you know I got bored of the kettlebell. I'm gonna be honest, there was two there was two parts to it. Um, I might save it for another episode to talk about during lockdown. I'll have to write down my notes and just my thoughts and feelings at the time. But the thing is, is that um, I got into running towards the end of lockdown. And like within, I think it might have been six to eight weeks, you know, for a, from a person that was fairly active at the gym, and you know, went on hikes fairly regularly. Um, you know, I I was already in a pretty good position to start running. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
But um, I know there's others out there that are probably not in that same position. But anyway, I started to run, and I really enjoyed it. I'm running now anywhere between 10 to 12 kilometers on a Sunday, and you know a few 4K runs throughout the week. It's become part of my exercise routine. Um, I think it's given me a lot of health benefits, <clears throat> not only in ways to to burn any energy dense food that I've been consuming for that day, uh, but also just the cardiovascular and the respiratory improvements and how that even translates just to my everyday life or even to um, you know my other exercises, you know when I'm lifting weights. So so the Facebook page, we wanted to check up an event, something that I've I honestly think is what the easiest way to get into exercise. And this is the great thing about it. The 100 k club, so in a nutshell, the 100 k club <clears throat> is everyone's working towards trying to get to 100 kilometers in each month. And every day, or whenever, not every day, but every time you do an exercise that's um, aerobic exercise, that's either walking, running, or hiking, um, I've recommended the Strava app to use for the recording. Um, and we'll get into the people that can't, um, you know, may live in a busy city or don't have that accessibility to go out running, walking, or hiking. <clears throat> is that you use the app and you record the data and then you get to the total at the end of the month and see where you are. Um, now, this is for everybody, right? Oh, and if you're on the treadmill, just get to it now. If you're on the treadmill, just take a bloody photo of it, right? It's better if you're outside and you're out and about. Trust me. Just get out and about, even if it's walking now. The great thing about this is is that although it seems like a very, very large number of mileage, you know, it's it's a bit of mileage to collect over the month. Um, don't feel like everyone has to get there. <clears throat> we understand that everybody has different commitments, different time schedules, different, you know, a range of different reasons why they can't, say, run 20 kilometers a day because it's just probably unrealistic. So the idea is that anybody from any kind of level of fitness, whether you're just entering, maybe you're asking questions about exercise, maybe you feel like you're a little, you've gotten a bit overweight and you want to find a way where you can start implementing exercise into your life, uh, whether you're the the gym rat that's a little bit curious and realised that he ate too much food on over lockdown and he wants to burn some pounds, this is honestly the best event you can go to. And the reason being is that, one, it's not a race with everyone. Don't need to feel like you you can only do what you can do that month. Now, the reason why I say that is like, I set a bit, I set a larger goal last month for my mileage, and I didn't achieve it last month. <clears throat> now, there's a range of reasons why that didn't happen. There's commitments, there's, you know, study, there's um, different routines and, you know, a change of lifestyle. But then there's also just not putting, allocating the time to it. <clears throat> so if you're at any stage of exercise, whether you're someone that can only say, I can only walk half an hour and then I'm pretty, you know, sore or tired and that, this is a great, this is a great place for you as well. This isn't just for the, the marathoner or the, the gym rat. This is for someone that's, you know, really wanting to start making, you know, small changes in their life. Again, this is small changes. You know, you all don't have to commit to try to get into 100. If you do, go hard. Like, good luck to you. I'll be posting up little episodes about, you know, my experience and some thoughts and feelings I had on running and, you know, talking about pace and things that helped me get through it because I'm going to tell you right now, I struggled. Like, I'm not lying. I struggled. You know, I'm, you know, I, I, I struggled in the beginning. I still struggle now. Like, it's important to struggle. But... Be a part of it during a you know a community that really wants to share ideas on fitness, um, that wants to promote ways where anybody can get into fitness, can get active. Um, and you know, I'll be in there if you've got questions. Whether you're the newbie um, that feet get sore after a walk, guess what? That was me too. No shit. I would go for a walk, um, walks on lockdown, and my feet would hurt. And now I'm running 10k. Again, I've been fairly active at the gym years prior. I did a lot of hiking. I've got flat feet. 
and I'm running regularly. Great for the cardiovascular system. Honestly, I, I don't see how I can convince you guys enough. I'll just keep putting out episodes and keep talking about some of the benefits I've got from exercise. Uh, I'll benefit from uh, running. Again, the 100k club is for any level of fitness, any level of capability. Uh, it's all about encouraging people get, to make small changes. So again, if say you could only spare three days out of a week, one of them being a Saturday after you know the parents take the kid to the to the the sports game. All right, maybe you go get a a drink, you know, a refreshment, and uh, go for a walk with the, for, as a family. That could be considered as one. Um, the good thing about the Strava app as well, it does like record where you've walked in there, but you can actually just set what information you want to set for, um, to share. So, like, if you're just worried about, you know, your own privacy or, you know, creeps and shit, then, yeah, just, I I just set it on only you, and then whether you screenshot it from the app on the phone or you screenshot it from the computer, just just cut out the information you need to share, which is just the mileage and, you know, the time, the pace, etc. Et we don't need to know where you've, where you've been. This is all about just getting active, and... And for those out there that are a little bit hesitant, that are like, eh, I get sore when I walk or something. Brother and sister, I tell you right now, just Tuesday, you know, maybe an afternoon, that's looking really nice. And even if your block's small, or even just say you live down a long road, set an indication, set a, set a point, set a point down the street. And just tell yourself, I'm going to walk there and I'm going to walk back and I'll carry on with my day. That's all you need to do. Maybe maybe you're someone that has struggled getting out of bed. Maybe you're just not motivated. Maybe you just don't get the excitement for life. Maybe do that as well. Try that. So, all right, I'm going to wake up at this time, and I'm just going to walk down to the shop. Maybe you like an energy drink in the morning. And you usually just drive down the road for five minutes. Why not just go for a walk down there? Put some headphones on, chuck on some beats that you like, and uh, go pick up your V or something. But yeah, there's a core event over there. I'll be adding up more information about it on these podcasts and then just pictures and just... If you got any questions, eh? Just just jump in. <clears throat> and one of the great things about um, running or hiking or walking is it's a very low cost to entry. You know what I mean? I don't know what the costs are like for women, uh, particularly because I know like the um, us guys are a little bit more simpler, you know, t-shirt and shorts, um, and sneakers or running shoes. But you can like for guys, you can go out and buy um, cheap, you know, cheap shirts from the Fuddy or from Kmart and just uh, yeah, buy up, you know, buy a couple of like grey t. That's all I do. I just go buy like they might say two for. 20 bucks so I buy four of them or I buy two of them and then I know those are my shirts that I'm going to run in those are the shirts that I'm going to sweat in those are the shirts that I'm going to get filthy in because I do eh? like I'm not joking you should like enjoy being filthy like I understand a lot of people get worried about oh you know I get really sweaty when I work out you know I'm worried about pushing myself because people think I'm a sweaty sweaty a sweaty boy fuck I'm a sweaty boy man don't t- don't even get me started. Don't worry about how you look. Hey, that's one thing. You know, if people are worried that you're sweating, they're only worried about them not working hard enough. Because they're probably like, far out, that dude's sweating. Am I working hard enough? Am I on my phone long enough? No. Um, that's just how I like to train. But yeah, don't worry about getting sweaty. sweaty. One big thing, I'm just going to point it out now. <clears throat> just to finish it up. Um, I want. I really. I got this mic working. I really want to start posting these up and just getting a bit more fleet for. What do we got? Where are we at? We're at 24 minutes. So we'll, do, we'll end it up. We'll try end it up in half an hour. I'm just going to get used to talking on the fly. It's hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. If you're going to be getting active and you feel that you're being a little bit more sweaty, a little bit more clammy, just remember your hygiene. Remember, you know, wash. You know, wash yourself. Deodorant. Um, you know, look at how your skin's reacting to maybe the the sweat. Maybe you might need a I don't know, 
for me, I honestly, because like I do sweat a lot when I'm like working out really hard. I actually buy this um, because I get these little like they look like little sweat pimples on my legs. Um, and I think they just might be from sweating out at the gym or you know just any kind of like annoying things that pop up from like sweating or exercise. I just get this um what's it called? This charcoal face shit, right? This charcoal face shit from Nivea or whatever. It's in the supermarkets or L'Oreal, I don't know what it is. It's in a black and green, but it's charcoal and it comes out in this black like I don't know, paste shit. And I just put that on areas that I feel like might be getting a bit, like, you know, getting a bit, you know, extra sweaty from workouts and stuff. I generally do it every day after the gym, so I might put it around my, you know, my quads and, like, you know, my, my thighs and that. Might put it up around my chest or, um, and I also do use it as a face, you know, a face wash as well. So it's probably not that bad, but I just put a little bit on and, I don't know, for me I find that doesn't irritate my skin and doesn't get my skin, you know, annoyed from sweating and running because that's one big thing i think we forget is hygiene's a big one so remember to like wash your lads to wash your wash your nads lads you know if you're going to be going out on dates and you've been running and you haven't really taken care of yourself don't blame me don't blame the running don't blame the running from why your your your, your tinder date didn't go anywhere um yeah, so hygiene is a big one. You know, clean yourself up. Um, I just know particularly for guys, some people are just very, you know, we just a little bit, I think maybe uh, some of us are a little bit unaware, uh, partic particularly in group classes. I remember going to this boxing class and there was a joker there that he seemed like a good chap, like real cool dude, but just the hygiene wasn't that good, you know. Kind of just had to mention to him, hey, bro, you know, like, um, you might, you might want to have a shower, you know, before you come in, you know. Because hygiene is important. <clears throat> it can either be very disgusting or it could, like, sp spread shit. So, yeah, remember hygiene. Wash your hands, you know, COVID-free. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the episode, guys. Come over to the 100K Club. We'll probably do another episode in the next couple of days. We'll talk a little bit about my running experience and just general chit-chat. Um, I'm feeling really good in my training at the moment, eh? So, even though I've been going to a couple of physio appointments, um, just, just trying to get that strength back in that that left arm. Uh, but the, the the physio's confident I can put stress on it, so you know, a bit of load on it. That's cool. Uh, just working my way up. It's been quite good. She hasn't really had to do much work on it yet. Um, she's just really given me exercises. You know, once I've started to figure something out, I go, oh yep, well this is now. It's real weird. I don't know what... Part of me feels like it was locked down, eh? But... You know, we just got to take our time, you know? We do our stretches, you know? We start, we're going back down on some lower weights, you know? Um, kind of annoying, but at the same time... I don't feel like I'm losing out on my fitness at the moment. I don't feel like I'm... I'm you know, I feel like I'm still winning at what I'm trying to achieve, so... Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll finish it up there. It's heading up to the 30-minute mark. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys be sure to head over to our Facebook page or check it in the description I believe it's something like facebook.com forward slash apexperformance.nz um, you'll see the event at the top and in chuck yourself in and you know just just attend that event and even just lurk hey you don't need to post anything just lurk you'll see me posting up shit if you have questions uh, queries and that just um, yeah just ask feel free no judgment around here you know again apex performance really believes that um, you know, information about exercise should be available to people, um, and we just really want to encourage more people to get on board and, uh, you know, take their, take their health a little bit seriously, um, or start taking the steps to understand health a little bit more, because I think we don't really understand as much as we think we do, and, um, I kind of want to be that, you know, that person that, uh, bridges that gap and helps, helps you get results that you want. Uh, whether whether or, not, whether or not you work with me, like just by uh, listening or taking on the information I share on social media, or or whether or not you work with me directly, uh, which you can do. Um, so if you're interested about that, um, just flick us a DM and we can probably sort something out. Alrighty, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next podcast. Peace. Peace.